Hi, I'm Amy McCarter. Welcome to House Calls brought to you by Camco, where Kansas healthcare professionals deliver health insight. Today I'll be speaking with Dr. Doug Iliff of Topeka about prostate cancer. Welcome, Dr. Iliff, and thank you for being here. You're welcome. It's my understanding there's been some debate about prostate cancer screening. There sure is. For the last decade, if you went for a free prostate screening at a local hospital or to your family physician, you'd get two tests, a digital rectal exam and a PSA blood test. Several years ago, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force recommended against the rectal exam because it was neither sensitive, that is, it failed to detect cancer as well, nor specific. When the test is abnormal, there's usually not a cancer present. And how about the blood test? The PSA is a lot more sensitive. It doesn't miss many cancers, and it's pretty specific. When it rises quickly, there is usually some cancer present. So what's the problem? The problem is that what I was taught in medical school 40 years ago is still true. Many men will die with prostate cancer, but not of prostate cancer. Most cancers are very slow growing, and we'd be better off never knowing about them. My father was a good example. His prostate cancer was discovered when he was around 70 years old. He decided to treat it with radiation, and then he died a few years later of kidney failure, a complication of his diabetes. I wish we'd never recommended that he had prostate biopsies. Does that mean we shouldn't screen at all? Amy, that's a really, really tough question. For men over 75, definitely not. For men in their 50s and 60s, the evidence is pretty clear. Ignorance is bliss. But I can't make myself follow the evidence, and here's the reason. Sometime back, I did a PSA on a patient and a neighbor in his mid-40s. A normal value is less than 4. His was over 300. He got good treatment, but died a few years later of metastases. A month ago, another patient in his early 60s had a routine screening with the PSA in the 70s. His prostate biopsy was positive. Emotionally, I have a very, very difficult time saying to myself, we should never have discovered these cancers. The man who died got a few good years with his young son. Isn't that worth a lot? On the other hand, we have many more men who would be better off never having been discovered or treated. They get an expensive operation, they deal with complications and discomfort, and for no benefit. And there's no way to tell the difference between the aggressive cancers and the slow-growing ones? Uh, there's no good way yet, and that's a big problem. It's easy enough for researchers to tell family physicians and internists and urologists that we shouldn't test, but it's not so easy in our exam rooms. Thank you, Dr. Ila, for being our guest today for House Calls. Please join us next Saturday morning for a new health topic discussion on House Calls.